Hi guys, welcome back. This is my Kermis at MH Tutorials, and today we are going to model a barbershop pole. Okay, we're going to start off with a polygon cylinder. We're going to drag that out in the grid, pull that up, hit 5 for shaded mode, and in our attribute editor, we're going to increase subdivision to 60. And caps, we are going with 4. Okay. I'm going to right click, go to edge, double click on that edge, hit R, scale it out to about there, then select the next one, oh, not that one, that one, scale that one out as well, and we're going to leave that as is, okay? We're going to right click, go to face, we're going to select that outer edge and select that one and we are going to hit edit mesh and extrude hit w and pull it up so you get a little gap here in the middle okay then right click go back to edge again double click on that one double click on that one and we're going to go to edit mesh and bevel we're going to increase segments to 5 and offset is 0 0.5 that's fine okay so now we got that one we are going to uh, yep we're going to create a sphere drag that out increase segments to 60 by 60 like that we're just going to switch our views to our front view, right click, go to face, and we're going to drag select half of the sphere, like that, and we're going to hit delete. Okay, right click on that, object mode, hit E, rotate it by 180 degrees. We're going to set the translate values to zero to get it nice and centered, like that. And in our top view, actually in more than just a top view, this looks good. It's connected. Uh, sometimes it's just spot on. Cool. We're going to hit R. We're going to scale it out just a little bit more something like that yeah it looks about right okay and we're gonna select both of these and go to mesh and combine all right next we're going to right click actually hit control d to duplicate w to pull up to about there e to rotate it oops let's try that again e to rotate Rotate by 180, like that. Probably going to come down, something like that. We're going to go to our top here. We're going to right click, go to face. I'm just going to select those and make sure we don't have any weird faces selected like those. Okay, and we are going to hit W and pull that up. Sorry, edit mesh, extrude, then hit W. It's not taken for some reason. Edit mesh, extrude. W, there we go. Okay. Yep, sorry about that, guys. Something like that. Okay, cool. Then we are going to take an additional sphere. We're going to pull that up. We're going to set translate values to zero. Like so. 
We're going to hit 4 so we can see our sphere down here. Right click object mode, pull it way up, F to zoom in. We're going to scale that guy down quite a bit. Let's give it some more subdivisions. 60 by 60. And we're going to pull that down until it's sitting on top. And as you can see, we can increase the size a little bit. Yeah, that looks about right. Okay, hit 5 for shaded mode. Let's see what we got so far. Okay, it's not bad. All right. Now we got that. Next, we are going to create the glass cylinder. So we're going to create a polygon pipe. Pull that up. Pull that up. Go to your attribute editor. Change that to 60. We're going to set our translated values to zero. Like that. We're going to hit R and we're going to scale it in until it aligns with the groove that we made. And it looks like we're good. Okay. We're going to pull that up and just make sure that the length is okay. We can scale it down just a bit, not too much. Something like that. Okay, cool. Now we're going to create some brackets. For that, we're going to create a polygon cube. We're gonna, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to pull that up. Something like that. We are going to go to our um, front view. We're going to go up to Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop, and we're going to put one there and one there. Okay, hit Q. Have to zoom in. Right click on face, select that face, select that face. We're going to hit R and we're going to push those out. Actually, yeah, we'll push that out a little bit. Something like that. Okay, not too bad. Object mode. And we are going to start to put that into place. So we're going to switch to our top view. We're going to hit W and we are going to set our translate values to zero. Like that. Select it. Push that out. And let's scale it down a bit to something like that. Stretch it out for the length. And let's see where we're at. Okay, we need to push that up a little bit. Somewhere like that. And hit Control D. And pull it up to there. Yeah, I think we're okay so far. Okay, we're going to create the wall mount now. So we're going to pull a cube up like that. Scale it in a little bit. Right click on it, go to face, extrude, scale it in, and scale it up a little bit, something like that. And edit mesh, extrude, hit W, and pull it out, something like that. Okay. Then right click, edge, drag select the entire object. Edit Mesh and Bevel. We're going to increase segments to 5 and we're going to 
tweak the offset to about 0 0.9. Okay. Object mode. Translate values to 0. Like that. We're going to hit W and we're going to push that out. Bit more. We're going to pull that up. That looks about right. Uh, let's see what we got so far. Okay, maybe you can bring it in just a little. Okay. Okay, now we got that. Now, inside, and I'll just hit for for shaded mode. We need to uh, create the uh, the colored uh, turning cylinder. So for that. We're going to create a cylinder. We're going to pull that up. We're going to change that to 60. We're going to set our translate values to 0. OK, so there we go. We're going to pull that up. Just check from the various angles. OK, we need to scale it up a little bit. Not all the way, something like that. And I think we're okay. Cool. Okay, so now we are going to assign some materials. Now I'm going to select this, 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 this. All of that. Right click, assign new material. MIA underscore X material tab presets chrome replace. I'm going to select the outer cylinder, the glass one. Right click, assign a material, same MIA material, presets glass thin and replace. Okay. And we are going to hit four. There we go. And let's get our internal cylinder here. That should be it, and it is. And we're just going to pull that guy out. We're going to hit 5 for shaded mode. We're going to right click. Actually, we're going to right click object mode. We are going to go to faces. Drag click these faces. So we've got the entire outer edge of that. Right click, assign new material, Lambert, and then in our color tab, we're going to go to file, and I got a texture file that I want to use, which is this one. And now that is applied, and as you can see, we've got a little edge going on there. So for that, we're going to go to Edit UVs, UV Texture Editor. Uh, actually, no. We're going to go to, let me think. We're going to select these faces. There we go. Then we are going to right-click, go to UV. Just drag, select that section there. And we're going to rotate that until it's exactly aligned. Okay. We're going to take that one guy and we're going to push it back in. And make sure that we did that correctly. Yeah, it's nice and center. Should be okay. Cool. So now, if we set up some quick lighting, create lights, point light, one there, control D, one over there, 
and we select these two guys go to shadows and select ray trace shadows we're good there we're just gonna set up uh, actually lighting wise this is not too bad I think we'll just give it a quick render render settings mental ray because we're using mental ray material indirect lighting we'll leave that quality about 1.25 in our common tab we'll create 1080 size okay so let's see what we got that's not enough light going on guys hang on uh, what I'll do is I'll create some image based lighting I got a file that I can use for that we'll go with um, some studio lighting okay let's try that again that should be a bit better I'll just give the uh, the render a second. <coughs> well, there you go, guys. That's it quick and simple. If you've got any questions, let me know. And thank you guys for watching.